August 26, 2023, and I am going to be going on a discovery. Um, and what that means is I'm going to discover a town. Um, and this town is going to be east of Toronto, so it's going to be a little bit of a drive. Um, but I've decided, you know, because I'm sure you guys are wondering what town this is. I've decided to explore Picton, Ontario. I don't know why Picton, but you know, I was looking for places and Picton was one of those hidden gems as they call them in Ontario. And uh, someone at work, a, a driver at work confirmed that Picton is beautiful. So I figure why not? Let's try it out. So I have packed a knapsack. Yes, I have. I have my Wonder Woman journal because I like to chronicle what I've seen. I have my um, my markers, my pencil crayons, just in case I want to draw because I get creative like that. And then I have uh, Advil because you just never know what kind of a headache you're going to get, even though you're hoping not to, but yeah. And then I'm going to, um, I'm not sure what else I have in there. Oh, I got a sweater because you know, the further east you go, it might get cold. And it is by the lake, my understanding is. so. And the beach is out there as well. So I may drop by the beach too. Never been to that beach. I think it's Sandbanks, but we'll see how it goes. Anywho, um, so I have, as you can see here, I brought makeup because if I'm going to be doing videos and stuff, I want my face to look decent. You know what I mean? So here's the makeup bag. This has a lot of pencils in it and pens because just in case I want to chronicle you know, I want to chronicle stuff. Um, and then here, here I have my Wonder Woman. This is the first time I'm going to be using it. I'm hoping to use it, but this is where all of my adventures are going to be in because I plan on doing more. This is not going to be the last one. Um, and then, I mean, what else is here? I got sandals. Sandals are important because just in case I end up at the beach, I don't want to be wearing shoes uh so sandals what else we got here we got uh we got um we got a sweater i'm not gonna take it out because it's gonna it's gonna yeah it's gonna be hard to get back in there and then i i'm trying to find the oh yeah how can you not have these sanitation you know wipes you gotta you gotta have sanitizing wipes um and yeah, I think that's it. I do have a one a, a power bar to eat, you know, on the way, but you guys don't need to see that. It's just food. So, guys, I'm going to take you on this fantastic journey. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. I said that twice, but it's all good. So I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, so stay tuned. Right now, I have 26 kilometers of gas, which means I'm going to have to go get gas. And where I get gas is at the reserve because it's way cheaper. So if you are near reserve... This is my sponsor. If you are near the reserve, you need to go there and get your gas because they don't get taxed, which means we don't get the carbon tax either. Well, we kind of do, I think. I think they still have to tax us because, but anywho, I, I don't want to worry about it. It's just cheaper. So go there if you're close to reserve. All right. So guys, stay tuned for the next few hours. This should be a fun, fun environment, fun, exciting trip. I can't wait, blasting the tunes in my car. So stay tuned, talk to you soon. Hello peeps, hi. So I'm I'm in the park, it's beautiful. There's only two cars here. So I'm outside right now of the car and if you take a full landscape in here, you see that? So it says on this thing, here I'll, I'll tell you, you know, I don't want to get too close to it because just in case some, something gets, you know, jumps out at me. But it does say this natural area is home for wildlife, including coyotes, skunks, and foxes. Keep dogs on a leash. Please stoop and scoop and take it with you. So, I mean, that's that makes sense. But as you can see, it's beautiful out here. Look at that. Look at that. It's fantastic. Do you see that? And there's little park benches here see there you go and now we're gonna take a walk 
but I'm not going to walk with my phone because that could be, get really hard to watch. So I'll turn it off and then I'll I'll get you to the the surprise. Okay, team, we're approaching where we need to go. And look at this, fantastic. So this is what I wanted to see. This is why I wanted to come to Picton. Not the only reason, but check this out. They have a birdhouse city. It's been established since 1980. Look at that. Now check out these birdhouses. But we're going to get a little bit up close because I don't think we can get in there. There's an actual pathway that we can go to. And I'm going to take you to the pathway right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Check it out. They're on Instagram and Facebook. What a surprise. <laughs> so it says Birdhouse City. There you go. Birdhouse City. And then it has Welcome. If you guys can read that. I don't think I should read it. I think most of you... You better know how to read. So I'm just, you know, giving you that little thing there, how it came to be. Here's the pathway. Now we're getting into the home. So there's uh, into the little birdhouses. Really, really cool. So they've created this habitat for the birds to have their little, little, little birdlings. See that? absolutely crazy I love it I love stuff like this it's so awesome um, ch check out some of these birdhouses look at it look at that it's so cool it's so different like there's a whole pathway here this one here Jack and Jean Sprague House. See that? Very, very nice. There's some more over there. It's all birdhouses. Everything. You, look at that. Did you see that little butterfly there? Oh, I'm loving it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm going to walk... because it's just littered with birdhouses. I'm trying to see if they got a yellow one. I mean, come on. What's what's a birdhouse city without a yellow birdhouse? My favorite color. See, they got red. They got a red top one here. See that? Log schoolhouse is what they call it. And then we have this white one here, which is absolutely cool. And then you see the pathway, like, it's well kept, it's nice, there's more, you know, if you go down there, there's more down there, they have this little bushel here, and then they have this bench. It says, this bench is dedicated to all who helped in the restoration of Birdhouse City, special thanks to John Pineda. Look at that. This is the hidden gem, guys. This is what we need to see. There's so many hidden gems here. Look at this birdhouse here. The Northport Pottery. Or that one right there. Check it out. Stunning. I'm going to keep walking so you guys can see what, what I'm seeing. Because why wouldn't you want to see it? Like, it's, it's too cool. Oh, look at this one. This is a mansion for a bird. Jeez, some of these birds are living more better than we are. I see a castle over there. We're going to have to hit that one up too. But just take a look. The whole place is littered with birdhouses. It's awesome. I'm going to sign off for a second because I'm really hot. So I'm going to try to cool down and I'll come back in a sec. They got the castle birdhouse. And check it out, guys. McDonald's birdhouse. That's a lot of eating for the bird. I love it. Oh, I think I found my yellow one. It's right behind the McDonald's. Go figure. Check it out. It's right there. Ah! I love it! Okay, that's it. I'll be back. 
so guys, it seems like these houses, which I'm just realizing now, um, are miniature buildings in town. Like, I just found a giant tiger bird house, which is really kind of cool because we have giant tiger. Um, and their name, like John's Cottage. So John's Cottage is like an actual place, but they've made like a miniature house for the bird. So I'm kind of figuring out here. Um, I should, probably should have picked up on that sooner, but it made sense when I started seeing the McDonald's and the giant tiger and things called specifics, um, like the Greek temple. We have the Greek temple birdhouse. It's kind of neat, actually. Um, Mountain View Church, and I did see a church coming into Picton. Um, but seriously, like, this is what I call cool. Like, too cool. You know, too cool. Just got to pat my forehead here. There's a little bit of condensation happening at the top here. Just want to make sure. Good. Okay, so let's check it out. So I'm just going down another pathway here, um, and I'm seeing Art Deco Cottage. So that's a cottage that's somewhere here in uh, in Picton. And uh, we got Yellow Chimney. I think that's just a random. I, I haven't seen a Yellow Chimney since I've been here, but this is really the first stop. Um, but, I mean, amazing. That's the, the Yellow Chimney right there obviously yellow and then we got Martin house right there so here's the pathway um, I'm noticing that when I'm walking because I'm trying to take the video I'm walking and I'm falling into these like little holes because you know I'm not really able to watch where I'm going because I want to make sure I get everything this one is the caboose Canadian National looks like a train house of some sort um, some of the bird houses are what they call out for well-deserved makeover so they take them make them over bring them back really neat um, Macaulay house that is another place that I'll be visiting shortly that's on my list which I heard it's very um, has a lot of history to it so I want to make sure I get there and it looks like there's uh, another yellow see they got me pegged man yellow is is the bomb anything yellow is what works here you go. That's the Macaulay house. So that's going to be a place that we go. And then let's go down here. I just don't want to get attacked because it did say that there's like skunks and stuff. So I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm not like, there's not a fox that's going to come out and, you know, attack my leg or something like that. Cause that wouldn't be good. You know, that would be kind of, that'd be kind of rough. So just going to make sure I keep myself visible. Um, there you go. That's what I wanted to show you guys is the seaplane. See that? Sea plane. That's pretty cool. I'm going to just, it's very quiet here and I'm the only one here walking through here. So I'm just going to keep to the left because there's wildlife here, literally, which makes sense because it's trees and stuff. But here's another one, the Picton Fire Hall. There you go, Picton Fire Hall, right there. Okay, so it looks like, you know, we've we've seen the Birdhouse City, guys. Like, this has been pretty cool, not gonna lie. It's kind of awesome. So I'm gonna head back down to the car and we're gonna take another trip to another place here in Picton that I think is important to check out but I appreciate you coming with me taking in this journey to Birdhouse City where birds live I think pretty sure they do but I don't know for sure but I'm assuming if it's a birdhouse they're gonna go in there and there's holes and stuff and a door so yeah anyhow thanks guys Signing off for now. Hello. So there we go. I I was here. I could say that I was at the Birdhouse City. Birdhouse City. I was here. Actually, I'm going to go take a picture with the rock, which I think is 
a little bit better. It's starting to cool down, thank goodness. The, the sun was beating on my forehead. There we go. Birdhouse City. It's kind of backwards, but I think it will sh it will show when, you know, you look at it. But I was here August 26, 2023. One of my hidden gems. All right. Thanks, guys. On to the next. Hello, um, James A. Taylor Millennial Lookout. So I'm really not sure what this is, but I'm going to see what it is. So let's take these plaques here. Athol 848, named by Charles Bacchus after his birthplace in Scotland. Bacchus served as MLA for Prince Edward. Okay, so these might be politicians oh it looks like it's to celebrate the millennium year in Prince Edward County um oh, okay so it's a panoramic view of Picton and the surrounding areas including the Bay of Quint oh that's kind of neat I'm kind of oh. interested to see what that looks like so let's take a look it has a little cute bench here oh wow this is kind of nice that's neat oh you could see like Look at that. That's really neat. There's a lot of stuff happening in there. I don't want to know what's going on in there. But you could see the little church top at the bottom. It's kind of neat. I like it. That's kind of cute. The lookout. This town is very quaint. It really is. Um, they have a lot of stuff going on that I'm not sure about. But there's a lot of history here. So kind of neat that I've decided to check it out. Look at that, all the way down there. Okay, beautiful. I love it. Awesome. Well, we'll keep going and we'll see what we come across. Guys, there's a fence here. I think you can actually go in there, but why would you want to go in there? You don't even know what's in there. Um, I'm standing on a rock so I get to see a little bit more. There's like a cemetery down there. Um, I don't know if I could gonna highlight it there for you guys if you could see it. Yeah, it's right in the middle there. Alright, well, and then you could kind of see in the far off distance there's the parking lot. There you go. It's kind of neat, the lookout. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm done. Alright. See you soon. And this is the plaque, um, kind of giving us an idea of the established Millennium Lookout. It's a rededication and renaming of the Millennium Trail Lookout in memory of James A. Taylor. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because that's kind of boring. So you guys can read it. I'll keep it on here as, much, as long as I can. But um, yeah, it looks like it was named in... Renamed back in June 17th, 2022. Awesome. All right, well. Came out and I found another hidden gem. So it's an old army base. And they're using it for artwork. Art shows. So I didn't take many pictures. I took, I took a video, but I didn't want to take too much because it is, you know... Um, Obviously, we can't take a lot of video and stuff like that, but I, I just wanted to say that it was fantastic. The talent. We have so much talent. It's, it's incredible. So I'm just going to... So this was the, the area here. Um, this used to be an army base. It's uh, Area 31 base. 
Um, so I'm going to take you on a... It started to rain a little bit, but I'm going to take you on a quick journey here. So this is the base. It's called Area 31. So this used to be where our soldiers were. Um, there's one, there's a base across there where they would stay. You could see there. Um, but they've turned it into an art area. So this is the garden. Um, so basically it's pollinators at risk. So it's kind of showing you a lot of why they're creating the gardens. I don't know. You know, I mean, I could, it says, welcome to the aviator's garden, uh, where we honor this site's historic contribution to the nation's aviation history and its rich natural surroundings. So this used to be an air base. So they're honoring the air base. So they are transforming this into a garden. Um, if you take a look at it, it looks amazing. And as you can see, as we approach some of the artwork here, that's a bug obviously it represents air flight all that cool stuff so honestly i am an art fanatic and just coming here has made me think about a lot of things and how i could make my art work expand more and i think it's pretty awesome um what they've done here and turning this into an art area and not just letting the building sit but just, um, just being able to see what art can do to an old site is pretty awesome. So Aviator's Garden, um, base 31. So that's the history. Um, so yeah, and then you could see that they've done a little bit of art on the side of the buildings. So these are some artists that have been asked to show their artwork and absolutely phenomenal. Like you could take a look at some of this here. Amazing stuff. Really, really cool. Right? Really, really cool. They're up pretty quickly, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, so yeah, it, as you can hear, it's pouring. So um, this might be time for us to Leave Picton. Sucks, but not much we can do. Can't really take much video. Um, it is coming down. I'm at the beach. I did take a little bit of the beach, which I'll add to the video, but that's about it. We're going to head out. I think it's time. And we probably should grab something to eat too. I, I'm kind of hungry. So it might be a McDonald's kind of meal because um, the restaurants and stuff are. Not necessarily closed, but I would have liked to eat outside and kind of take in the, the atmosphere, the environment of the town, but that's not happening today. So I am headed out. Guys, thank you. This has been a great day. Um, I appreciate you following me. I will post this on YouTube and uh, a little bit shorter because I do have a lot of videos, but I will post it make it look all prim and proper for you and then see what happens um and i'll announce my next my next crazy adventure when i post this so let's do it all right you guys take care i may do a little drop in on the way back but for now i'm signing off